This video introduces the pathologies leading to the subacromial impingement of the shoulder. The subacromial space is bordered superiorly by the acromium and inferiorly by the proximal humeral head. Structures in this space include the glenohumeral joint capsule, the coracohumeral ligament, the supraspinatus muscle, and the long head of the biceps. There is also the subacromial bursa, which can be an isolated synovium by itself or can be continuous with the glenohumeral joint capsule. With repetitive motion of the shoulder, more specifically with flexion or abduction, the friction can result in direct wear and tear of the subacromial structures, most commonly the supraspinatus. Other pathologies can also result in the narrowing of this space, indirectly impinging on the supraspinatus as well. The movement of the shoulder requires more than just the articulation of the glenohumeral joint. Another joint that is involved is the acromioclavicular joint. Overuse of this joint can lead to degenerative arthritis, leading to the formation of osteophytes, impinging on the muscles. Congenital anatomical variants of the acromium can also result in the narrowing of the space, predisposing to impingement. Generally, there are three types of anatomical variants of the acromium. Type 1 has a flat undersurface, type 2 has a curved acromium, and type 3 has a hooked shape, with the greatest risk of impingement. In normal physiology, the humerus can only abduct from, from 0 to 120 degrees before it collides with the acromion. Further abduction requires the rotation of the scapula, brought about mainly by the trapezius and the serratus anterior muscles, which is usually initiated before the humerus hits the acromion to prevent wear and tear. Any cause leading to the weakness or degeneration of these muscles can result in regular contact between the acromion and the humerus, causing impingement. Finally, recognize that the rotator cuff muscles, such as the subscapularis and teres minor, exert a slightly downwards force on the humerus. Therefore, any pathologies relating to these muscles can also result in the superior migration of the humerus, narrowing the subacromial space as well.